Are you tired of your AI voice sounding like a robot even if you're using Eleven Labs? Here are a few things you have to tweak to get rid of the uncanny valley as much as possible to make it sound really good. If you stick to the end of this video, I will show you how to do this with generic voice profiles already on Eleven Labs. So don't skip through this video. Yes, many text-to-speech tools can mimic tones, inflections, and even emotions, but they still sound kind odd, and here's why. The first one I want to talk about is lack of emotional nuance. AI usually sound like it's reading the script instead of speaking. If you can change the speech pattern and make it not sound flat, then the voiceover will sound much better. One simple technique I like to do is to edit the script to sound more conversational by adding filler words. Sometimes I intentionally add misspoken words, and then I correct myself to sound more believable. So it will be like, so I went to the store, excuse me, I went to the store and got some eggs. Another thing is to add some pauses in the editing software to make the speech sound more natural. The third one is Prosode. Eleven Labs actually does a really good job, and you can try it. I will leave a link below. When I say prosody, it's the intonation where the tone should convey meaning and emotion. I can say, I want food, I want food, or I want food. If Eleven Labs can add this type of control to their software, then that will make a huge difference. The next one is adding some realistic sound effects when you're editing your AI voiceover. Assuming you already have something pretty solid from Eleven Labs, now let's add some breathing effects, cough, background noises, and other intentional sounds to make the audio quality more believable. Sounds like the mic clipping, cloth rubbing, and sound like that can really elevate the quality of the AI voiceover to get rid of the uncanny valley effect. Now, thanks for staying to the end, where I will now show you how to make a generic voice profile on Eleven Labs sound better, assuming you're already implementing what's mentioned above. Since most voice profile lack the intonation and speaking speed, what I will do is clone a voice that I like and then I use the speech synthesis tool inside Eleven Labs to change the voice. Then I use that voice to generate a clone voice. So if I need Brian to speak faster like a salesperson, then I will use an audio segment from a real person selling. If I need Brian to speak much slower, then I will find an audio segment from Lex Fridman podcast or something like that. I mean, you can also just go on TikTok and find a bunch of user-generated content and just, just make sure the audio doesn't have background music and other noise. So let's check out the difference right here. I'm Brian, and I can read any script you type in the box. Just copy and paste in the text. I'm Brian, and I, I can read anything you type in the box. Just copy it and drop it in here, and, and I will make it sound like I'm speaking it. Did you notice a difference? The first one sounds like it's reading. And when everything sounds too perfect, it actually takes the realism away. And the second one sounds more like it has a soul. It feels alive and engaging. I hope you find this content helpful. And if you like it, please watch this one next.